All right, retro computing fans, I've got a cool little story to share with you today. Some time ago I ordered an antique beige computer case from eBay. Completely new in box, turbo button, keyboard lock, AT form fractor, also includes a power supply. Cost me about 60 US dollars, plus 40 extra for shipping. Very good price for a sparkling new case in box from the early 90s and very affordable shipping too. And when I went to pick it up at the post office, something strange was waiting for me. That box is literally covered in postage stamps, but not any kind of stamps. No, no, they are vintage stamps with each an 8 cents value. Only 8 cents! Curiosity got the best of me, as you can imagine, and I contacted the seller about this, uh, this unusual event. Turns out the very nice gentleman named William buys old stamps like these in bulk from stamp dealers and uses them for shipping items, both small and big. He says most people don't even want to use stamps like those because of the hassle. I can understand why. But still, that box has awesome written all over it, and I love it. Apparently, while I paid $40 for shipping, it actually cost him $93. And that means he had to use a total of 1163 stamps to ship this each being only 8 cents worth. I repeat, there are over 1,000 stamps on this box. That is just out of the ordinary. Never seen anything like this. I mean, I got packages from Europe in the past covered in modern postage stamps, but 1,000 stamps from yesteryear? That's one in a million. Really makes the package stand out. It gives it a special oomph, a certain air of old times, where computer collections were a thing for the future, and stamp collections were actually a thing of the present. William also noted that applying all the stamps took around 20 minutes. Talk about dedication and old-fashioned customer service. He also clarifies that the employees at his local post office are very well educated on the rules regarding payment with stamps. Oh yes, William, I can imagine. So thank you for the awesome case, and a huge thank you for the stamps, I love them. As always, a huge thanks for watching the Soundcard Database, and see you next time.